song. His voice alone could carry a whole song. But those pe- these people come together so well and are so talented in what they do on drums and on guitars and even backing vocals that it makes such a stellar song or stellar album. And I think that's why this these this group of people works together so well. <laughs> to reacting to Queen, Killer Queen, live at Earl's Court, London, 1977. This was over 40 years ago. Was it? I don't know. I, I'm bad with math. Okay, I'm bad with math. Let me see. Okay, not, maybe not over, well, it probably is, I think it's like 42 years. What? Jesus. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm absolutely ready. I think it's important for me because a lot of people told me that Killer Queen was Queen's, like, breakout. Like, that was when people really started to pay attention to them because this is only their second album. And you got to remember, this was the late 70s. So, music nowadays can get picked up faster and that's because of social media and stuff they were a band from the uk and they did it genuinely you know so it's it's no surprise that usually artists back in the day their second album or third albums even fourth albums would be when they really started to pick up in the public's eye so i, I can see why too because i need to see this intense like oh it's i love this song so much like it's crazy it's honestly so crazy um well no this is on their second album i keep i keep like confusing myself because i even when i reacted to this i said it was on their second album this is on their third album i am excited like very excited to I, I just can't believe that I'm this far into their career. Three albums is a lot of albums, okay? Artists nowadays don't even make it past two albums, which is fucking crazy. Let's keep going on, or keep going. Let's get into this. I'm absolutely ready. I just, I really want to see this song live and see how they did it. I don't know. I can't explain. I, I really can't explain. I just really want to see it live. Let's get into this before I start. Please like subscribe. Let's go. Okay, I already like the setup of this stage. Let me turn it on. Brings back memory, so I don't know exactly when this song was actually released. Probably like early 70s. Look at his soul, you can see it. When he sings. That outline thing that was on the beginning of this video said 17,000 people in this audience. It's crazy. I needed to see it and seeing it is just how crazy. Like, I can't. I, like, have the chills right now. Because this is top five for me. I'm sorry, you guys, but it really is. So far. I will say that, because I know there's tons more songs to come. But this is really top five for me. Ah. Okay. Uh. 
If there is one thing I would change about this song, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. I, I feel like the one thing I would change about that song is for it to be longer. Because the melodies with the guitars and his voice alone, like I said, I always say this, his voice alone could carry a whole song. Like he could sing, no, up, no nothing else in the background, none of the other um, members of this band could be like, has to be on the song. His voice alone could carry a whole song. But those pe these people come together so well and are so talented in what they do on drums and on guitars and even backing vocals that it makes such a stellar song or stellar album. And I think that's why this these this group of people works together so well. I honestly like I, I I haven't seen one bad song and this is me coming from a person that doesn't necessarily like rock music or um I mean yeah, like how else would you paint these men out to be? I I feel like they're rock stars honestly like you could say they're pop artists, yeah. I mean, they do have a few pop songs, but, like, I thought of them as pop, or not pop, rock stars. So, this is coming from a person that really doesn't, isn't really into rock music. These people shake my soul to the motherfucking core. And I probably know if I, like, actually took my time and got in more rock music, I'd probably like it. And that's thanks to them. Honestly, let's be fucking honest. This... Is a fucking great performance. I love the way that they embodied the the song live. Like they do it so fucking perfectly. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just shook. I'm really just shook. But I guess it's it, you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I guess that's it. Bye, motherfuckers.